Hello friends, it's Miss Holly from the East Grand Rapids branch. And I'm Miss Hannah from the Alpine Township branch. And this is KDL's Curiosity on the Go. We are in the Creston neighborhood and we're gonna be featuring a lot of the beautiful, wonderful murals that are scattered about this neighborhood. So come join us. On our walk today, we're gonna to be talking about the elements of art. There's seven elements of art that artists use to communicate in their artwork. There's space, line, form, light, color, texture, and pattern. And we're gonna be searching for these in all of the different murals that we see today. So this is a great example of the use of line. The lines start way at the top. You see way up there and they go all the way down and then they shoot off on an angle. So this is an awesome walk with me. Let's walk the lines and they're all different colors. So it's really fun if you have little kids to come here and have a great time talking about intersecting lines, where they're shooting off to, and the introduction of color. All right, we are here at Graydon's Crossings, and this is one of our other murals that were done during Creston, um, Creston in the Dark, and this is by Kyle DeGroff. And it has lots of wonderful elements of art that we can talk about. Um, first, line again. We just talked them. about line. Thick lines and how they move all the way across the building. Yes, and you can't forget about color. Another element of art is color. And he uses some contrasting colors of greens and reds that flow into blues. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I love how he incorporates the windows into his art. That's something you have to think about when you're doing murals and the downspouts of the gutters. It's all important to the whole of the whole piece. <laughs> Hi everybody, we are at Central District Cyclery and this is a mural done by Elliot Sh um, Schultry. And this is one of the first ones he ever did in Grand Rapids. And this is um, another element that we're gonna be talking about is form. Form, so like with form, you can see there's a lot of different shapes here. We've got the unicorn and the unicorn's wearing armor. And the artist here has done a very good job of shading and giving that form. You can see also, you know, there's all these different kind of psychedelic mushrooms that I love. I love these mushrooms and a lot of them have these like bulbous pieces coming off of them. You can see bits kind of dripping off and all of this has a very nice depth to it. You can feel like that's a 3D object and that is the element of form. We are here at the Childress and Associates Building, Realty and Associates Building. And this is a piece by Colby Roanhouse. And Holly's gonna talk to you about texture. texture. <laughs> All right, this is a great example of texture. The lines that we were talking about intersect and they create these different patterns. So we have this wonderful pattern, like check pattern. We have this river type movement that's going through. Um, creating more texture even. And then we have it, you know, it's really complicated down here with a lot of texture, but then it goes up and it scatters around and makes these other little spots. And you kind of have to step back to appreciate the, the texture that is happening here um, to take it all in. Um, you can enjoy the, the small little elements of it, but to step back, you actually see that there's the eyeballs that are looking at you and the flow of the texture and the pattern, and it's just absolutely beautiful. All right, we are at the Bradley Salon, and this is a wonderful another piece of mural here at the Crescent Neighborhood by Dana Walton. She's actually a fiber artist that does also murals, and um, you can see, as Hannah's gonna, gonna point out, her wonderful use of line. All right, so this is another great example of the use of line and color in a piece of artwork, you can see that there's not a lot of colors here. It's largely black and white, but you've got all this beautiful red, and then the lines come in real strongly with the greens. You can see all of the green lines, and it moves you all the way through 
this piece, and it almost looks like, and the lines and the leaves, they look like waves. And they're bringing you through and under and over, and it's just another really great example of line and color. All right, we are back at the Lions and Rabbits building where we started our tour. Um, and here we've got an octopus. It has a tag over here for the artist, but we're not 100% sure who the artist is. And Holly's gonna talk to you a little bit about value and light. All right, so one of the things that artists really try to do is create this contrast between light and dark, okay? And so we feel like this is a really great example between how she used the black with the brighter colors and the white outlines of the octopus to create this contrast between light and dark, which makes the thing pop. So this is a really great um, element of art to learn about. All right. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this tour and on your own tour, you look for all those elements of art that we talked about. The Crescent neighborhood is a wonderful example of revitalizing a neighborhood um, as it grows through the changes of time. And art is one of the ways to beautify a neighborhood as well as planting trees and lots of other wonderful things, bike racks. There's lots of ways to revitalize the neighborhood, but art is my favorite.